First look at Android 12 stable based AOSP ROM running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Munchie here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Android 12 stable ROM based on AOSP running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. As you can see, security patch is from October 5th, 2021. And the kernel they are using is perf kernel. So this is how the ROM comes out of the box. This is your quick settings panel. This here is your volume panel. You can always expand it as well. This here is the recents and do note you will not get the option of screenshot or select because right now we are using quick step launcher in this build. Next thing if you press and hold on the empty space go into wallpapers and style. This is how the UI looks like. Do note I have selected themed icons. Let us try to change the wallpaper. Use the on device wallpaper and once that is done material U is going to kick in. The icons have changed and has the accent color also changed so here it is this is the new accent color so material u is working without any issues on this specific build then of course you can change your grid as well and in case you want to enable dark theme you can enable dark theme also there it is dark theme works without any issues as well on this specific build Next up, if you press and hold on the empty space one more time, go into widgets, you should have the new Android S Easter egg widget. Now this will appear once you have enabled or used the Android S Easter egg once. And this here is your paint chips, which shows you all the accent colors used and then you can share them as well in case you want to do that. Other than that, those of you who are looking for the clock widget, it is available all you need to do is install the apk which is linked in the description of this video and then you should have the updated clock application with the new cool looking clock widgets and yes all four of the clock widgets are available once you have updated your clock application next up let us jump over to settings so this is how the settings ui is going to look like do not with android 12 a lot of ui changes have been done and first of all let us head over to apps and we can go into default apps so these are the default apps which are available in this specific build as i mentioned earlier home launcher is your quick step right now and then if you go into see all applications tap on chrome go into permissions go into location so three different options for your permissions and you also have the toggle to remove the permissions and free up space if the app is not used for some time next up let us head over to the notifications option so here in you do have your notification history once you enable that then you also have priority conversations from android 11 along with bubbles now do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then you also have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now next up we have battery so here in you do have your thermal profiles yes they have added thermal profiles and if you use the thermal profile as benchmark or gaming you are going to get a new option of touch control once you enable this and you should be able to enable game mode as well so this is going to increase your touch response the sensitivity or the touch resistant area again you can configure all of these independently on a per app basis as long as you are using the thermal profile of benchmark and gaming go into battery saver you do not have the extreme battery saver but you do have the normal battery saver and you also have a toggle to turn it off once the device is charged 90% or above then you have your adaptive battery and a toggle to show the battery percentage in your status bar moving over to sound you have different sliders to control the different volumes unfortunately you do not have any live caption on this build then you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now and you also have Dirac sound enhancer baked into the specific build next up we have display so in display we do have adaptive brightness works without any issues then if you go into lock screen here and you can add a text to your lock screen always on display is there works like a boss the animations are super 
dope moving over to screen timeout of course you do not have the option of screen attention and in case you want to enable your dark theme you have a toggle for that as well do note you can always enable your dark theme based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise now with android 12 google has added a notification that with sunset to sunrise it is going to use your location then you can change the font size the display size can be changed you also have a toggle to enable or disable your night light go into colors you can choose between natural boosted and adaptive then you have a toggle for auto rotate screen double tap to wake is there working without any issues go into ambient you have your always on toggle pickup works hand wave is kind of wonky in this specific build and yes you do have dc dimming or anti flicker mode as well next up we have the option of wallpapers and styles we have covered most of it but have a look at that animation jumpy dope super smooth then we have security now with respect to security you have your pen and guess what you have screen off fod and this is google's implementation of under display fingerprint scanner because the pixel 6 and pixel 6 pro will have under display fingerprint scanner and trust me the fod on this build is super dope super great next up we have privacy so in privacy you do have a privacy dashboard here and you can see what all applications have had access to the different options you see on your screen right now in the past 24 hours with location camera microphone being on top then with android 12 whenever you open the camera application you will get a notification in your quick settings and the same applies for an application using your microphone as well moving over to system here and you do have front camera settings yes the pop-up camera works without any issues without having to root your device and of course you can change the sound which you hear when you access the front camera as well and you have a toggle for front camera led also moving over to gestures so here and you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice go into system navigation you can choose between three button or the gesture navigation if you go into settings you can swipe to invoke the assistant lady and you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge independently then you have press and hold the power button for assistant and you also have options of prevent ringing by pressing power and volume up together next up with respect to your youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine picture in picture works live caption does not work on this build you do not even have the option of live caption but picture in picture works of course for picture in picture either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium next up with respect to google photos unfortunately there is no unlimited original quality google photos and if you try to edit a picture to use the other features of like portrait light and other stuff you do need to buy a google one membership so here it is if i go into adjust try to use portrait light it is going to tell me to unlock this feature and more with a google one membership so unfortunately this is not a pixel build and then with respect to the assistant lady she is there and she is ready to help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well next up we can talk about safety net so out of the box safety net is not going to pass for you you will have to root your device and then once you have rooted your device all you need to do is go into settings and herein we need to enable magisk hide and once that is done we can check for safety net one more time and then safety net is going to pass without any issues there it is safety net is now passing and before you ask me what magisk do we need to root you need to use magisk version 23.0 as you can see on the screen right now magisk version 23.0 has rooted my device without any issues and once you have enabled magisk hide you may have to go into the magisk hide option and herein you can always you know make sure that you show system apps and once that is done you can also search here for play once you tap on the filter the keyboard should pop up here and search for play google play services is selected by default make sure to select the google play store as well in case you want to and then delete the data for google play services and play store and then you should have the play store certified as well
Next thing we can have a look at is the app opening animations. So here are the app opening animations on your screen right now. As you can see, everything is pretty smooth. There are no jitters and no lags. With respect to the recents, again, everything is smooth and fast. No issues with the recents as well. You can also try to switch between a few applications to see if there are any lags or any jitters in the UI when you switch between applications. Again, you can see on your screen, everything is working absolutely fine now with respect to the google feed let us wait for the google feed to load and then we can see if there are any lags or jitters in the google feed so again no lags no jitters in the google feed either all in all the rom is pretty dope and pretty smooth so what is the final take on this android 12 stable aosp based rom on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro is this a daily driver yes as per the developers this is a daily driver now those of you who are used to the pixel ports or pixel experience roms might find this a bit boring especially with the fact that not all of material u is available but you need to realize that this is a rom which is based on aosp which is your standard android open source project but then again the fact that you are getting android 12 stable within what hours of the source code being pushed and the manifest being released that is something which is super impressive and super dope and needs to be appreciated would i use this as a daily driver on my device hell yes i would use this as a daily driver on my device because this just proves that what developers can do for free and the future from here for the redmi k20 pro is super bright because expect android 12 roms with pixel experience stuff and your pixel goodies coming once android 12 is pushed to the pixel devices